it's Saturday morning, April 8th, and Claudine and I have escaped from the old house. The Great Escape. If you've watched any of our other videos in the past, you've probably heard us say that we go on interesting date excursions. Uh, out to the grocery store or other types of things like that. So this morning, we have stopped at the dump already and dropped off our garbage recyclables. And we just pulled out of the library where Claudine dropped off some books that she had borrowed. And now we're in the drive through line at the bank. After this, we're going to head up to Texas Roadhouse to go out to lunch together. And then, of course, for the grand finale excitement of our day, we're stopping at Sam's Club. So we're going to have a Sam's Club haul for you. Little did we know then, we'd also have to stop at Tops for some items we couldn't get at Sam's Club. Okay, so we've left the bank, and we're now heading to Texas Roadhouse. We don't normally go out to eat like this a lot because it's too expensive. But we've got a gift card, so we're just going to go out and have a good time together and just enjoy the day. We are in the city of Elmira on our way to Texas Roadhouse, and we're now passing through the campus of Elmira College. There's an interesting piece of history here on the campus of Elmira College. This isn't the original location of it, of course, but there's a piece of history here that's been moved to the campus, and that is the little study that you see right there once occupied by Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens. Although Samuel Clemens, or more commonly referred to by his pen name, Mark Twain, did not reside in Elmira, he did spend a considerable amount of time in Elmira over his life. You see, in 1870, he married Olivia Langdon from a well-known Elmira family. Olivia was a graduate of Elmira College in 1864. After a brief residence in Buffalo, New York, the couple moved to Connecticut However, they would routinely come back to the Elmira area and spent over 20 summers at Olivia's sister's house, Quarry Farm. Olivia's sister Susan and brother-in-law Theodore surprised Mark Twain when in 1874 they built this octagonal study. It sat on a piece of property roughly 100 yards from the main house at Quarry Farm and overlooked the Shemung River Valley in the city of Elmira. It was here in this study that Mark Twain wrote a large portion of some of his famous works like The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, and many others. Samuel Clemens and his family are buried in the Elmara Woodlawn Cemetery. In 1952, Mark Twain's study was moved from Quarry Farm and given to Elmara College, where it now sits on the campus. In 1953, Mark Twain's niece, Ida Langdon, a professor at Elmara College, was part of the dedication ceremony. You can find more information about Mark Twain and the Center for Mark Twain Studies in the links below in the description. So if you haven't seen our video from back in November when Megan and I went up to a Buffalo Sabres game, we are hockey fans. Our family roots for the Buffalo Sabres, but we watch a lot of hockey. We watch a lot of other teams as well, just specifically Buffalo Sabres. That's our team. Just a few minutes ago, Claudine was commenting on what she thinks should be a change in the scheduling process for the NHL. Claudine, what was that suggestion you had? I just think it should even more out. Uh, of course, maybe it is more even than it seems, but it seems like the away games, like you play certain teams more often at away than you do home, but maybe over the years it evens out, and so it just seems in a year. I don't know enough about it, but it seems like there should be a way to make it more even. So there you have it, folks. Claudine's opinion on the NHL scheduling this morning. A few moments later. We've arrived at Texas Roadhouse a little early. They're not open yet, so we're going to sit here in the car and just wait a bit. Because we had to get to the bank before it closed. What was that, Claudine? Because we had to be at the bank before it closed. We had to be at the bank before it closed. So we had to be at the bank early in order to get there before it closed, but now we're early at Texas Roadhouse before they open. A little longer than a few minutes later. Looks like the doors are open now, so we can go in. Are you ready for lunch, Mama? Yeah, but I'm busy looking at pictures of Leia right now. Oh, you're busy at looking at pictures of Leia. It's not like Grandma Luxa girl. <laughs> So 
So you got a bag, Mama. Yes. We always, when we go out to dinner somewhere, we always bring food home for the kids. So like I ate half of my meal and brought the rest for Brenda and Bill, but he had about half of his. Um, half of the appetizers came home and then we got extra bread for the kids. So that's just what I do when we do go out to eat because I feel bad that we've left them home. I've always done that. was going on but there was some kind of dispute between a customer and one of the cashiers Claudine did you catch what was going on I have no clue just this lady was so disgruntled she was getting another employee to go scold the one that she didn't like I don't know people get upset she was about not in a good mood and she was spit spit spitting all the way out to the parking lot it was kind of something else amazing probably how posted it out right there on her phone probably posted it on Facebook probably she was probably posting it on Facebook it's amazing how upset some people get just not worth it not worth it you don't do that do you not anymore maybe I not used anymore to. <laughs> did you did you used to do that i mean i used to probably get more upset about things but not I to the point have. not to the point where you're vocalizing out loud no, in public no <laughs> no but i'm sure i got more upset than i should have about things yeah. but it's just not found out it's just not worth it's it not worth it and it's not who we should be as followers of Christ either. That's the thing. When we're out in public, especially, we need to be representing Christ. <laughs> what we saw today was not something you should be doing, regardless of who you are. So Claudine is going to Tops because we didn't find the milk jugs that she likes well, in Sam's Club. It's just I bought them there before, and they're difficult to pour from, and not that I drink milk much. but They are an odd shape. They're not like what we're used to. I don't like them, so... It's worth an extra stop for a couple minutes. And get... luckily, Tops is right next door to Sam's Club. So, I mean, I could have been, I want to go to Wegmans where it's cheaper, but we'll just get it here. Yeah, Wegmans is cheaper and it's also a nicer grocery store, but we're here. So, let's go. wrapped up with our grocery shopping and we're heading back towards the old house on the corner and currently while we're out in town we're missing a sabers game a buffalo sabers game the sabers are playing the carolina hurricanes right now and it's tied three to three at the end of the second so we're hoping that the sabers can hang on and make their season just a little bit longer what do you think mama there's a slim glimmer of a chance. Slim not, glimmer of a chance. Not much. <laughs> but they've done better this year than we expected, so. That's definitely true. Thing. They've done better this year than, than anybody expected, I think. And there's definitely hope for the future, which has been a long time coming. But we've got a decent team now of young kids. And I think a lot of teams around the league are saying, whoa, oh they're coming. <laughs> Remember, you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'd really appreciate it if you clicked on the thumbs up down below. And if you aren't yet a subscriber of our channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications so you'll know when we post new videos.